What's up, it's Squad, back with another video. Y'all see in the title was going down. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, other videos you already check out. Make sure y'all comment down below, email me, left for reckless, say yahoo.com, or DM me on Instagram, left for reckless. Y'all already know us. So, y'all, the thing is, with, with, with hitting these videos and why I be so, you know, talking fast and all giddy because I get I get so hyped, you know, about about these topics, about, you know, these videos and I react to especially Benny videos, amazing videos. Um, but I, I, I definitely enjoy them. I definitely enjoy them. Um, and I'm trying to, you know, I, I'm trying to stay happy. You know, I'm trying to stay happy, you know, um, past past months. Y'all know I, I was fighting, you know, depression. Um, going through anxiety, still going through, you know, uh, a lot of anxiety and stuff like uh, like that now. But um, I feel like that's that's one thing, you know. You pray, stay happy, and you you keep on going. I feel like that's that's the main thing. But you already know. Let's get a video, y'all. Cut the scene in. What's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. No days off, no breaks. Donald Trump at UFC 295 right. in Madison Square Garden, walking in with Kid Rock, Tucker Carlson, Dana White, and Don Jr. Man, the place was popping. Yeah. Listen to this. <laughs> Again, this is New York City. All right, Newell's going down in there. Crazy loud. Skipping a little bit, y'all, but. Get the Trump, you see the iconic red sign. Get white, of course. Get rock. America badass playing. And a Carlson. <laughs> Not expect the Tucker Cross to be there. Listen to the room. It's just absolute pandemonium. And even leftist news sites were there saying, uh, listen, this was an uproarious, <clears throat> absolute stem to stern from the rafters, like, like, like heroes welcome for uh -huh. Donald Trump. Live media can't even help themselves. Look at this from the mirror. Uh, Donald Trump gets thunderous welcome as he rocks UFC 295 with Tucker Carlson, along with you, uh, CEO Dana White. Man, it is wild. Donald Trump gets a hero's welcome at Madison Square Garden for UFC hero's fight. You'll welcome. remember that the state of New York is, of course, trying to destroy Donald Trump's business. Boys, it's not going to work. It's ah, not. There's ALX's tweet right in the Everybody went crazy when he walked in. Article. Nice. Donald Trump. Tucker Carlson, UFC, rock and roll. Tucker Carlson tweeting about it. Tonight's fight at New Madison Square Garden, getting just lit up. These guys are just the man in the arena. Yes, this is absolutely correct. Would you like to see this as your next, uh, your your next cabinet in the White House? Would you like to see this? Because a lot of people are saying, a lot of people are saying, looking at this image, that this is the announcement of t the Tucker Carlson VP. What's this about? Hey, that'd yeah, actually be amazing. That's right. Though. That'd be Donald amazing. Trump, Tucker Carlson, Vice President. What a question. This is what people are asking. All I see is Tucker as VP. I tweeted, right? That went that went thermonuclear. Watch this video. What do you see? You see Tucker Carlson as the vice president. I'm not the only one asking this. Tucker Carlson, our next vice president. It isn't as loopy as it sounds. <laughs> hey man, we can't can't lose either ALX or I or in every single article. <laughs> hey man, that's why you hustle. So Trump and Tucker, the mere thought would send shockwaves through liberal cities nationwide. That alone makes a delightful prospect. People saying that Donald Trump should pick Tucker Carlson as the VP. Donald Trump loves to read the energy. How do y'all how do y'all feel about that? Before we get more in this video, how do y'all feel about that? And clearly Donald thoughts. Trump is gonna love the fact that people just went nuts for Tucker Carlson oh, last yeah. night. Fans chant USA, USA, USA. No other person on earth would receive this reception. A really good question for this is like would Donald would, would like Donald Trump can go to any sporting event, right? He's been yeah. to a bunch of sporting events, the national championship for college football, national championship for college wrestling, quite a few UFC events. Has there have you ever seen Joe Biden at a, a, a sporting event? 
I can see Joe Biden and going to like a like a tennis event. Um, <clears throat> like ten, no, nothing against tennis, you know. I can see him going to like tennis or like you know. Um, I don't know. Maybe tennis, like a like a marathon or something. Like, I don't I don't really know. I don't really see him going anywhere. I can, I can't even throw tennis under the bus like that. I really don't know. It's a good question. You ever seen Joe Biden at a sporting event? Uh, Would Joe Biden ever be welcome at a sporting event? Bros, check this out. Rogan. Classic hands, right? So there you go. It's a little hard to see, but you can make out really Joe Rogan's small head and cut his off. Uh oh. Uh oh, I hear a podcast coming on. Uh, oh, in no Las boy. Vegas, at UFC in Las Vegas, Donald Trump and Joe Rogan got together. High five, handshake. Talk to each other. Where's the podcast, Joe? Where's the podcast, Joe? And of course, it wasn't just Joe Rogan. Of course, the king of podcasting. It was also the kings of the ring, popping over to give big props to Donald Trump. Whenever a fighter would win a fight, it would uh, salute the man. Yeah. That's so what's it, up. Is a, it was a wild, wild energy. Y'all, y'all know me. Like I, I don't even like going out in public and stuff no more. But this is a place that I would definitely would like to be at. Right like now. I'm not a big sports guy, but there's an event that I wish I could have been at. These, these kind of things make me make me very, very jealous. This was the energy. People were just vibing Donald Trump in his element. Of course, Donald Trump uh, very much cut his teeth in the sports world. Donald Trump owned a considerable portion of an NFL competitor at a time and then did tons of fights at his casinos, right? Tons of boxing matches. This is where he met Dana White. Look at these two. Look at these two. This is Tucker. Here's Don Jr. This is Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba. She's a friend of the show. You've seen her on our show. Uh, and this is Tucker Carlson's uh, producer right there, Justin Wells. Uh, so al also, I mean, again, fighters, Heading over, heading over and giving huge props to Donald Trump. You see Donald Trump right there. This guy didn't jump the fence, but saying, what's up? Respect to the president. Again, right. the corporate media can't right. even help themselves. Donald Trump gets. Th and crazy thing is, I don't even know if I, can, if I can say this on YouTube or not, but I hit on that partly. Knockout. Thunderous welcome as he rocks UFC 295. Thunderous well, if y'all into that type of stuff, y'all don't fan do a drag kings, hit me up. Like, for real. Hit me up. I, I, uh, I uh, do a lot of sports betting on um, NFL, uh, NBA, um, UFC. Those are the main three that I that I usually, uh, every Saturday, uh, when it's UFC. Um, NBA, really, almost every day. And it's not so much of a problem. I do it kind of for fun, too, you know, because I'll be watching the games and stuff. But um, I like it. Welcome. That's the ticket. This is the energy. Do it. Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson. Look at that. Oh, man. I don't know, baby. I don't know. Donald Trump That's has lit. to be. He wants Tucker Carlson as VP just recently this week. Consider Tucker Carlson on your VP list. Oh, I want to wow. give, give you a hypothetical here. You're a big sports fan. You know, like Nick Saban's going to retire at some point. And if you talk to the athletic director at Alabama, he would say he has a list. So would Tucker Carlson be on your list of potential VPs? And how many names might be on that list as you sit and look and survey the political field? Well, first of all, you know, I did my first, uh, you could call it counter-programming, but I, I won't call it that. But uh, Tucker wanted to do an interview during the first debate. And I think you know, because this is what your business is, we broke every record monster audience in history yeah i think wow. it just hit over 300 million people talk about it would you consider it's, tucker though that they based on the i like tucker a lot i guess i would i think i'd say i would because there you he's go got there it is right there and i feel like this right that, that right there him saying it and then him bringing him to usc i mean there it is right there there it is right there common sense you know that's lit. when they say that you guys are conservative or i'm conservative it's not that we're conservative we have common sense common sense there you I go like it. he said i, like I would it. I would. Other people of note, ringside, Dan Bongino there with his wife. This is uh, uh, Donald Trump, obviously. Got to be careful saying his name on YouTube. Yeah, no, no. Big fans of Dan Bongino, and they've been friends for a long time. They live actually quite close to each other. Uh, and so we have, obviously, action-packed Saturday. All of this happened late. Been offline all day today. All of this happened late last night. And so 
we're hyped about it. Trump Saturday versus Biden's Saturday. Yeah, bro, need to stay out of that heat. I know that he needs to stay out of that heat and get indoors. A perfect meme, and Donald Trump posted. <laughs> <laughs> Trump posted this on Truth Social. <laughs> it's perfection. Oh, yeah. In Las Vegas, Trump met Guy Trump Fieri. Definitely winning oh. the electoral votes of Flavortown. Guy Fieri, of course. Donald Trump. Guy Fieri. We, I got a problem with Guy Fieri. Let me tell you all my problem with Guy Fieri. <clears throat> we got, I, I, I got to get in the next video. I wish my I wish my girl was in here so she can, because she was with me. Um, Let me tell you all something. So, I have... Um, I'm gonna say I, I have two favorite chefs in the in the in the whole my, my top two favorite chefs. Um, some people would guess, you know, on why I would pick these two. Um, Guy Fieri, well, he was one of them. Um, so my top two chefs is Gordon Ramsay and uh, Chef Wolfgang Puck. Um, and that those those two chefs, especially Gordon Ramsay, like it, I literally watch all his shows. I watch all his TikToks. I watch all his. Um, I, I, I watch everything Gordon Ramsay. He taught me how to cook. Uh, my grandmother and my mom obviously taught me how to cook. Uh, my mom is from Mississippi, uh, Mount Bayou, and, you know, my grandmother. Uh, I got that grandma thick, you know. You know how to cook, you know. But I watch I watch these chefs all the time, you know. Um, and Guy Fieri, he was one of them. So I went, I went to one of his uh, restaurants. I was so happy. And... Um, a lot of these restaurants, I feel like they put their name on them without going to the restaurant and actually looking to, to, you know, to make sure that restaurant is better. There's a restaurant in Louisville. I'm pretty sure it's Louisville. Um, and I forgot what it's called, but it was the worst experience of having barbecue. It was like barbecue type food, like macaroni, you know, you have uh, brisket and, and chicken. And it was dry. It was real dry. The macaroni, I've never tasted macaroni with goldfish on them. It was like, it was so weird. It was real weird. And I kind of lost like that respect. Because it was like, if you have your name on something, at least, you know, check out that restaurant. Anyways, I just had to say that because, of, you know, seeing Guy Fieri. But. A warm embrace, a happy embrace there. Uh, Donald Trump meeting Mel Gibson. This is Mel Gibson right here. Oh, that's Mel at, Gibson. Uh, in Vegas when they were there. So this is like, there's... There's no there's no star that Donald Trump like that doesn't come over like especially when they're in the presence of Donald Trump respect the guy hug the guy love the guy with and what up and then there's Bill Burr's wife whatever happened to Bill Burr's uh, wife what happened one with that? exception last night one exception this she did not just do that she did not just do that respect the guy hug the guy love the guy with one exception last night one exception this is making a little bit of news bill burr the comic uh, from boston and his wife allegedly wow. flipped off donald trump you can see bill burr here in the background uh i find bill burr kind of you know i think bill burr is kind of funny uh i think it's comedy yeah yeah i i and if y'all notice i i'm not you know no type of person that oh i i don't like bill burr you know I react to a lot of Bill Burr uh, videos, but this right here, I ain't. I ain't. Is, is good. I That's think a lot wild. of people tend to like him. I think this is the stupidest thing you could possibly do. You just isolated uh, and reduced your earning capacity by 50% by flipping off Donald Trump. This yeah. is a very stupid thing to do. Facts. Remember, it's every celebrity on planet Earth wanted to be on The Apprentice. Every celebrity on planet Earth wanted to be seen with Trump, photographed with Trump, be with Trump. Uh, Trump is the number one name dropped name in rap songs up until he ran for president. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump was in Little Rascals, was in Home Alone 2, it's the Christmas season. Yet here, suddenly, Bill. And Little Rascals, uh, he was, uh, I forgot the dude's name. He was the, uh, the little rich, the little rich dude's dad, right? He was in the stands talking to him on the phone or whatever. I'm pretty Burr's sure. His wife. And Home Alone, I've seen him. I seen, I've seen Donald Trump for the first time in Home Alone like years, years, years ago. I didn't really know who Donald Trump was, but I knew he was somebody that was important because the way he stopped and talked to him in the hotel. I knew I knew it was his hotel or something that they was in and all of that. Like, I just knew it was something that I, I was young, though. Home Alone is literally my favorite movie. It's my favorite holiday movie. I'm going to say that because my favorite movie, like hands down. I, I really hate to say it, but it's it's next Friday. I really love next Friday. It's my favorite movie. I, I had to say it, but you know, 
woke, toxic, wretched individual is there flipping off Donald Trump. And I would love to hear I would love to hear uh, what that conversation was like afterwards with Bill Burr or is Bill Burr just entirely cucked. A lot of people are saying Bill Burr very much has a Will Smith style marriage uh, and is totally and completely uh, a, 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 a denig- denigrated, humiliated, emasculated. But we'll get into that later. That's not what this wow. is about. This is about the energy, ladies and gentlemen. And we saw it. This is the energy. And I want this as I want this. I'm telling you, I've, ne- I've never seen it more clearly. <laughs> I want that. Make America America again. Yeah. It would be awesome. And that's, that's literally like a fun, a fun type deal, you know, having Donald Trump, having Tucker Carlson. That's, that's fun. Um, you know, obviously stuff is just rather serious. Um, stuff that needs to get done. A lot of stuff that needs to get done. But... These are two. These are two guys that I feel like definitely uh, make America great um, again, because it's not. <laughs> but y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe. Let me know y'all thoughts on this stuff. Y'all let me. If y'all don't think it should be Tucker Carlson, who do y'all think it should be? Make sure y'all hit the like button, that subscribe button. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, watching this reaction. Catch y'all next one.